Hey guys, Dana Ray Drive here, bringing you a gameplay commentary over some Elestral's digital gameplay utilizing a direct damage burn deck featuring Krakatuga. This one's pretty sweet and I think has a lot of potential in a competitive metagame once everyone gets their cards or at least once the digital app is rolled out. Quick reminder, if you haven't done your backer kit, definitely do so guys. We're over 75% completed, but you only have uh, 10 days to finish that. So please do your backer kit, check for your emails, make sure you guys get your backer kit filled out so you can pay for your shipping. Otherwise your Kickstarter order will get delayed if you don't get it done on time. So please remind your friends if you haven't done so yet. And of course, you probably saw the little teaser at the beginning of the video. Make sure you guys stay tuned on social media for Elestrals over the coming days, we reveal a brand new Elestral that is just absolutely so good. I mean, it's so good. I can't wait for you guys to see it, but enjoy the little teasers in the meantime. Let's dive into some gameplay from Elestral's digital app, Alpha. Let's go. All right, so we're playing Orange in this one, and a big shout out to my boy, Jay Johnny. Uh, I had kind of tried to make a similar deck to this, and he was like, yo, just run this. And I'm like, all right, that's fair. So we get this party started, and we're just going to throw Ignector right out. Ignector is so good, man. One of the kind of best cards in, in Fire, in my opinion, right now. Being able to basically cast Ignector and get two more Ignectors to the field almost instantly, or actually instantly, at the cost of your battle phase is pretty insane, right? Now, in some scenarios, this could be relatively bad. I happen to have protection on turn one with Tsunami, so I know I'm safe here, right? I told y'all I love Tsunami. I think it's a very underrated card right now. If I think I think the fact that I text Tsunami in every deck basically means that the rise of the, the tide is coming for me soon and I'm gonna run into some water decks soon and half my deck is gonna be useless, right? But you get the, the triple egg nectar out, you, you skip your battle phase, but you're in a situation now where I have a tremendous wide board, right? Three on the first turn. That is a, a, a tall task for anyone to deal with, right? Now, there are counters to this. There are ways to build against it. Obviously, Ignector has very little presence. And anytime you're running a deck like Ignector with this kind of wide board, if you don't have Ascensions to take advantage of it, it only gets you so far, right? Because, again, it's not a significant body. But my opponent is going to straight up play Nectar of the Gods, obviously. And they're running Earth, so they happen to have one of the better cards to deal with this, which is Viscerous, right? And that's what they're going to end up casting here. They're going to play their Viscerous with the Earth Spirit, and they're going to try to kind of go a little bit more aggro towards me with this. And I have Tsunami. <laughs> it's kind of where we're at, right? So I'm a little ahead of myself here. But the cool part about this deck is, if you guys don't know, one of the last minute changes I made in terms of the uh, you know balance of the game is I buff Krakatuga. So Krakatuga has the same effect as Eruption, essentially, where you build in that Eruption to its effect. But what I did was I made it so if you play Eruption with Krakatuga on the field, you actually get to just target and destroy something on top of that. So it gives you a massive card advantage. And that's actually one of my favorite things that I've done so far in building Elestrals is those like two or three card combos that kind of just very synergistically work together. So a good example of that is Krakatuga Eruption or Drataya and, and Litigon and Golden Apple of Discord and Ambrosia. Like those cards, how they function together in a, in a cool way uh, is something that I, I've really grown to appreciate. So my opponent here decides, you know what? I'm going to play this Viscerous. They attack into my Tsunami. And now this is where the army of Vans comes in, right? I mean, Necroft puts on a tremendous amount of pressure because it forces an expend here. And then I get to attack for three. So I'm hitting four damage here and I have a board of four right out the gates. Like we are in such a powerful position. I didn't even bother playing my half, uh, my divine rune to get the uh, hammer because I felt like there was no point. I was in such a powerful position being able to just hit for four here and have the extra expend from Necroft. So uh, overall just really strong. And now my opponent is just like on the back foot, like straight up, right? Like I just go to double check the log to make sure that they did indeed expend four on this but there's not like there's a lot that's tough to do here right something like an ursier would come in probably put in some work because it could steamroll pretty quickly with the new changes to ursier uh you know some of those type cards could come in and and deal a lot of damage anything that uh gets a buff or something from destroying in battle is going to benefit here but my opponent decides to go to Taya here for defense. They're going to play the Ambrosia. Exact combo I was just talking about. This is huge because my opponent's now able to grab three spirits back, essentially. So plus two spirits. And they get to draw two cards in the Jataya. That is very powerful. Like, it is very easy to uh, underestimate that combo. That is a very strong combination. Basically, a free Nectar of the Gods on top of your spirit regen with Jataya. Very good. Um, so... One of the cool things about this deck is Krakatuk is actually really easy to get out. With Ignector, it's so easy, right? I will say this too. Ignector might feel like it's so OP, but it's really bad mid to late game. <laughs> like, it's, it's on turn one, it's actually insane, but later in the game, it's not nearly as good. Um, but when it comes to Krakatuga, it's very easy to get out because you can Ignector it out. 
you could tad puff it out like you could legit cast tad puff on a special cast and then ascend right to krakatuga in one turn pop an eruption blow up the back line and then hit for two or just keep it in defense and and hit again and like that damage stacking with eruption puts on so much pressure that you can very easily get ahead but because you know it costs a lot to do that i actually draw in a krakatuga here which is kind of the fun part of this gameplay so i end up just doing a quick ascend i do the ascend off the uh ignector i don't even have to put it into attack position i think i ended up keeping it in defense um but all i have to do now is i just get to play eruption now so eruption cost me two it cost me a card right so it's a net one i'm hitting the i get to destroy the back row with with krakatuga's secondary effect and then i can activate krakatuga so i'm hitting for six damage right then and there and i actually think i could have won if i didn't go after the back row and i went after the just here because i would have hit for six and then i could have attacked for one two three four five i would have attacked for five yeah so i think i uh i think i would have ended up having game it turns out that they had tsunami but no water spirits to use uh so i guess they kind of tossed their water spirits or whatever but it wasn't gonna make a difference right like it made a might have stalled the turn or something like that but it wouldn't have made a huge difference i get to clear their back line and then i get to just go after them and we can fire off this uh this eruption here deal the three damage krakatuga's effect goes off deals another three damage it's just a really cool combo and i think while krakatuga again doesn't have a ton of offensive presence the amount of damage it can deal is really good but much like tsunami there's that trade-off right like if if i'm playing against a fire deck eruption and krakatuga are basically useless like they're not going to be very good if you're playing against a deck that runs sorlet krakatuga gets wrecked if you're playing against a deck that runs veritaco krakatuga gets wrecked um it's a lot of resources and it can do a lot of damage but it's not as if it's a free resource like it's not as if krakatuga can just easily fire off these hits without having it cost you something as well so that's why i don't think this is like a super s tier deck but it's certainly something that i i'm gonna be looking at like i'm gonna be considering krakatuga when the time comes in terms of like metagame deck something that i could use because this strategy is like you could get krakatuga out like pretty effectively and pretty efficiently and deal some damage it's just a matter of pairing it with the eruption to get kind of the full effect which often means you have to hold on to your eruptions until you get the combo set up um but when you do that it's it's pretty minty much like litigon right like litigon functions in a similar way where if you can hold your ambrosias you can get that thing onto the field as a seven eight i believe you pop the ambrosia or the golden apple and then you're just hitting you're destroying things and then you can have like an offensive presence as well and just kind of deal some some hits there but as you can see like we've cleared the board we have a stacked board there's not a ton my opponent's gonna do so what i would like to see from you guys though is in the comment section below if there's any particular decks you want me to build like anything even if it's wacky even if it's bad like even if it's a like kind of a, a little bit of a gimmick let me know and i'm happy to try to put some stuff together i've been kind of messing around with the deck builder obviously doing a lot of app testing and just trying to get a good vibe but my opponent goes for the sprouter play grab a scythe kind of a last ditch effort to say like okay we're gonna come back this is our chance we're gonna do it and i'm like uh no no it's not it's not gonna happen buddy we're not gonna <laughs> you're not <laughs> you know what i mean like he can hit the hit, hit an ignector and like you know regen you know regen one and you know maybe start to climb back but i'm pretty sure i forget what my face down is but i'm pretty sure it's something that stops him <laughs> i'm pretty sure it is like i'm pretty sure he doesn't even get this tech off but yeah let me know if there's any decks you guys want me to run i've been having a blast and we're gonna be rolling out the app to more and more people as we keep working on it so kind of stay tuned for that but please 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 part of the reason i made this video not to show me blowing up orange here it's to tell you guys you need to do your backer kit like you gotta do your backer kit please he goes for it. i go for shield that's right i knew i had something i'm like i knew i said something face down shield of achilles man it's and that's at this point it's over like we don't even have to talk about it it's over i bounce it back i hit him that was a that was a steam roll over there from turn one but i thought it was fun to show up krakatuga get your backer kit in people do it thanks so much for watching this one check out the description for more awesome gameplay and i'll see you guys soon